Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are taking our very first look at the second wave of Azure Lane content. So, without further ado, let's get into the good, the bad, and the ugly. First of all, the ugly. <laughs> uh, let's be real, this is not a good looking Baltimore. I like my Baltimore, but it does not look good in light blue and bright yellow and it's just no it's not for me not for me but uh you know to each their own it's it's a thing um uh, also i don't like the fact that they made this an actual ship to buy rather than a camo like they did in the first series of uh, azure lane content i don't i don't like that but uh beyond that uh if we move forward let's check out the next ship which is the fusu not to be confused with the fuso uh, where are you, Fusu? There you are. Oop, too far. Alright, so let's take a look at the Fusu. And if you thought that the Baltimore was the ugliest one, you were wrong. Fusu, I don't care what they put on that apartment complex you call a superstructure. That is horrendous. <laughs> this is ugly as crap. I apologize to whoever designed this. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but Jesus. Does anybody out there think that this looks good? Please let me know in the comments below. Seriously. I mean, it, this looks like a uh, young kid decided to wrap a present for Christmas for somebody and they just like slapped a bunch of stuff all over it. <laughs> Is it tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You ever seen a little kid decorate a present? It's exactly like this. They got six bows on it. They've got the the little ribbon wrapped around every each way. And like it, it's it's in it's hilarious when it's a kid. Not so much if you're trying to buy a ship. But on to the next one. We are going to go to the Queen Elizabeth. Not to be confused with the Queen Elizabeth or the War Spike. We have the Queen Elizabeth. And while the camo on this isn't nearly as bad as the previous two, it's still just not quite what I would want as a camo for the royal ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to be royalty, and, uh... I just don't feel like there's a lot of... a lot of thought that went into this. Anybody else think... Like, am I wrong? Maybe I'm just wrong, okay? Maybe I'm just being overly critical for no reason, but it's just... So far, the three camos that I've seen have been absolutely gaudy at worst, and this one is okay at best. Okay? However, the Germans are going to save us. Okay? The Germans are going to save us. Watch these next two. We've got the Scharnhorst and the Graf Spee. Or the Graf Spee. However you pronounce it. Graf Spee kind of reminds me of a four-wheeler or dirt bike. All right, it, it kind of looks good. It's not necessarily what I would call something I would want, but you know, it's it's a step in the right direction compared to the rest of them that we had. Now I know a lot of people think this is their or say this is their favorite of the ones so far, but uh, honestly, I think that goes to the Sharn Horse for me. But this is still a pretty good looking camo. I, I like this much more than I did the previous three. So uh, step in the right direction. But the Sharn Horse, for me, is where they just nailed it. I the the Sharn Horse is fantastic looking. Now, obviously, I'm I've been uh, you know overly critical, and maybe it's just because it's not my taste. You know, maybe we just all have different tastes. But tell me, this isn't clean. There's a little bit of red in there for texture. We've got the the different camo textures as well, kind of like hunter esque, but a little bit more uh, contrast. I like it. I like it. That is a clean camo. It's a shame that the only way we get to see it right now is with the freaking bleached out sunrise. Like, I, I, I like this port a lot. I just wish they didn't make it morning with the bleached out sunlight. Because it just it completely ruins the, the look. Like, this in a regular lighting, this port would look even better, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm just the guy that plays them. But that is a good-looking ship right there. Look at that angle. Mm. That's a good-looking ship. I do like this camo. This is definitely my ha my hands-down favorite of the new camos. 
All right, so now that we got the camos out of the way, it's time to go check out the commanders. So let's check out the commanders. Now, for the Americans, we have the Baltimore. Now, first of all, Baltimore's base trait is adaptive tactics, which gives you a better rudder shift, uh, which, you know, that is helpful for heavy cruisers if you're planning on being out in the middle of the ocean and, and trying to avoid getting shot. Uh, the Baltimore doesn't necessarily need to avoid getting shot too much because it's got great armor. But uh, we also have Burn It Down XXL, we've got Beyond Range, we've got Before It's Too Late Igniter, we've got Velocious, we've got Punch Through, and the um, unique perk is AP Salute Ammunition, or Absolute Ammunition. Cruiser's AP Shell Penetration Multiplier is increased by the same number as if you were using Punch Through. The difference comes where the time to detonation of your cruiser's AP shells. This is potentially amazing because the Baltimore, believe it or not, actually overpens quite a bit. So reducing that fuse time could be amazing. Only time will tell. You guys will have to let me know if you want me to test this out on my Baltimore. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I want to, but if you guys want me to, I will do it. I love my Baldy. And anything that could potentially make it even more awesome, I'm willing to try. Uh, but for the last two perks, we have steer clear, fixated, we have fully packed, we have refill station, and equilibrium of power. So uh, nothing too out of the ordinary there. Now, moving on to the Japanese, we have the new Azure Lane Fusu. <laughs> and the base trait is cover fire. Increase the chance of your battleship's HE shells causing a fire. Now, the, bat the Japanese battleships get amazing HE but nobody should be firing HE out of them all the time. Like, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Reload time's not that great. And on top of that, the AP is fantastic. So I don't know why you'd want to shoot nothing but HE. But if you do, here's a perk for you. Or maybe you take this as a base trait uh, or as an inspiration for, say, I don't know, the uh, Nelson. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Any extra fire chance you can get. Uh, but we've got a good day's work, flammable cannoneer, crisscross, and gyrating drill bits. So we're not losing out on our marksmanship too much, which is good. On second thought, uh, marksmanship and the battle spirit is the unique perk for this one. Maximum HP is increased and the incoming damage to your battleship is decreased. So a two-fold buff. You get more hit points and you take less damage. That's a win-win. It's a good perk. Uh, reaching out XXL, emergency specialist and properly meticulous. Now, Emergency Specialist is not Master Mechanic. Master Mechanic is the one that gives you the extra charges for your uh, damage, or not damage control, but for your repair party. And this one just increases the uh, effectiveness of your damage control. Uh, but we do have Will to Rebuild and Farsight. So that's the Fusu. Now, if we go in here, the, uh, you know, already Azure Lane heavy commanders for the British get an even bigger bonus with the addition of the Queen Elizabeth. So let's look at Queen Elizabeth, shall we? Queen's orders. Reload time of battleship's main guns is decreased. The main gun AP shell damage is increased. And the shell grouping of the battleship's main guns is increased. Uh, or made better. So a three-fold attack. Now what that means generally is that even because it's a three-fold attack, it doesn't end up being as good overall as some of the other perks. Um, because you're getting a bonus on three different fronts. But it essentially, once you max it out, will be a 2% increase in each one of these. And uh, I think, yeah, I think it's 2%. Anyway, it'll be fully done at around 2%. And 2% to your main gun damage, as well as the reload time and the um, shell grouping. So not bad there. Anyway, not one for the nuisance and brawler. Then we have crisscross, porcupine, and their... Uh, unique perk is Skywatch. Increase the spotter duration and number of charges. Yeah, I don't think this one's particularly useful. Because most of us, I think, can pretty much say the same thing about the spotter planes. They are, at best, useless <laughs> some days. Like, I swear I get worse dispersion using the spotter plane than I do if I just fire the guns. 
but maybe that's just me. Shell switch time on second thought, and then firefighter. And then this one actually has reaching out XXL and master mechanic, and properly meticulous, but you'll be using master mechanic, let's be real. And then it also has will to rebuild. So that's actually pretty nice. You get will to rebuild and master mechanic um, on a tank build, essentially. Okay? And now if we move even further, we go over to Germany, and another one to compete with the British as far as who has the most fake commanders. Uh, yeah, the British and the German. It's very close. Now, Scharnhorst. Uh, sniper, reduce your ship's main battery shells dispersion. You know, when I think of Scharnhorst, I think of Sniper. <laughs> don't, don't you? Uh, but yeah. A good day's work. Brawler. And you should see the other guy. Then we have Crisscross, Porcupine, and the unique skill, Torpedo Launch. Increases your torpedo's maximum speed and range. So if you want that, I guess it's a thing. You only get six kilometer base range on your torps, I believe. So what does that take it up to if it's fully done? Roughly, um, what, 20, it'll be what, six, 6.7 probably when it's all said and done. So I'll let you guys decide whether you want that. Uh, on second thought and firefighter, then we have reaching out XXL. We have master mechanic once again, and we have properly meticulous and we have will to rebuild and running with scissors so you can choose which one you want um, but master mechanic and will to rebuild as a couple is kind of nice uh, but I believe most of the tank build commanders have will to rebuild if I'm correct somebody have to let me know I know the hide does not but uh, hide is not a base commander the other one is Agilene Graf Spree or Graf Spee. She's a pocket battleship. Increase the amount of HP restored by the repair party consumable. And that is actually something that is an interesting base trait because you can use that as inspiration on your British battleships that already restore a lot of HP because that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Increasing the HP by percentage. Remember that it's percentage based. So the more HP that you already are recovering, the bigger the bonus is when you're getting a bigger percent. So, uh, yeah, I kind of like that. All right, then we've got Burn It Down and Beyond Range. We have Before It's Too Late, Igniter, and the unique perk of Ghost. Reduce your cruiser's surface and air detection radius. Detectability of cruisers and uh, air detectability range. So there you go. And then for our the rest of our perks, we have Velocious, we have Punch Through, we have Fortified, we have Steer Clear, and Fixated. And then we have Fully Packed, and refill station so I'm up in the air on this like I don't understand the point of it most of the most of it to be honest um, I'll let you guys decide I know there's a lot of fans out there of Azure Lane I see you guys in the comments all the time so I'm sure you guys are absolutely thrilled um, but yeah it's definitely not necessarily something that I'm particularly interested in but I do like the, the look of the Sharn Horse camo. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.